Hello and welcome to another week, a weekly vlog. My name's Nicola if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. Right, first of all, first thing I want to do to show you this week is I ordered some new bras. I was desperate for bras, mine were in a terrible state and if you suffer with fibro or chronic illness or anything like that and you know that we have to have clothes that are comfortable these are comfortable so I wanted to share them with you so they are from this brand here so if you go on that website I'm not sponsored I'm not sponsored shape and go www.shapeandgo.co.uk and I haven't opened this one I'm wearing this one <laughs> Um, so let's open it focus thank you so they're literally like this they're like a bit like a sports bra they have got padding in which I like I enjoy the padding because I've always had padded bras I don't know why I just have I feel they give you better shape um, but you can take them out um, where's the hole to take them out there so you can take the padding out here and it does suggest that you take the padding out when you wash them. Um, but yeah, I've ordered an extra large, I think, or a large. What is it? Extra large. Extra large I've ordered. But you can go on the site and see what size you need. Um, but this fits me very comfortably. And it was two bras for about £25. And it was free postage. And they came really quickly so i really recommend these they're just so comfortable you've got no wires digging in or any straps you know they're just very very comfortable so yeah that's my recommendation of the of the day so this morning is obviously saturday mark is working all day today so i have arranged to go out with my mum and dad we're going to go to um a castle called headingham castle and but they've got like a snowdrop walk on this weekend so mum keeps saying that she wanted to go on a snowdrop walk so I said right well let's do this one I mean it's chilly so we're gonna have to wrap up although I am sweating currently with my hyperhidrosis stroke perimenopause whatever I'm going through <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna wrap up go on the snowdrop walk and then I think she's booked a nearby tea room for lunch of course of course uh, Poppy's working a bit later today Holly and Louis stayed last night but they're going for breakfast somewhere and then they're, Louis, she's dropping Louis off because he's going into London today so that's all of our plans today so come with us on a snowdrop walk so we got here a bit early and they're not open yet so we've come in to a little bistro for a drink while we're waiting so I've gone for a hot chocolate with cream, mum's got a normal hot chocolate, dad's got a coffee. <laughs> right, here we are. There's the castle. And it's all open today as well, so I'm going to follow the map, find the snowdrop walk, and go in the castle. In the summer, they do like jousting here, don't they? This is where the field where they usually do it in. And that's the entrance to the castle up there. <laughs> Don't fall over for God's sake. Um, <laughs> You've got to go straight up there. This is the banqueting hall of the Earl of Oxford. Helmets. The chapel. Oh, 
What's it say? Oh, it's just the same as out there. Oh my goodness. That's just storage in there, I think. Holes. Oh my god, this is creepy. Very creepy. Oh, we're in the minstrels gallery now. There's musicians, wasn't it? Yeah. Ready for the banqueting hall below. A lot of stairs. Yes. <laughs> oh, just kicked over my stick. I don't think that's ancient um, scribbling. No. <laughs> Medieval games. It's a view down to the banqueting hall. We've well, got some uh, buzzards out there. over there you can just see dad's white car through the trees yeah yeah Oh, yeah. You yeah. see? Yeah, nest on. Ladybirds are everywhere. Oh. <laughs> They're all over here. So obviously you can stay here. I don't think I'd fancy that <laughs> somehow. Sleep in there. So we're on the snowdrop walk now, but some of them are all pretty faded. But the ones in the sun up there are still open. Oh yeah. Oh, snow drops. Would this have been the moat? Oh, well, been, yeah. oh horse poo. I think it did from the pictures because it had a I was just saying to mum and dad that that room at the top I think has been converted for an Airbnb because it's got that you saw the what I showed you the bath the real bath a telly on the wall and then round the corner I didn't show you that they've put a proper toilet in so but I'm really surprised that they'd let people stay in that bed because you know it's like thousands of years old and you just think it would crumble you know but yeah, I'll have to look at that later, see if I can do a bit of digging. But I said, how many ghosts will be in that castle? Many, many. This is amazing. Oh, it's a car, 
No, that's some that's people's way. cars, that's not our cars, our cars are that way. Yeah. We've just found a bench, so we're going to have a sit down. If it doesn't break under our bums. And look at the water. We've just seen a pair of uh, buzzards up in the sky. It was amazing. They were just soaring around. But yeah, that's... So up there, between the trees, you can just see a glimpse there of the castle, which is what we just come in. This is, so that's the moat, and that would have been where the portcullis was to the castle. And then that's just the, like, the offices building. And we just come for lunch at somewhere called Petals Tea Room. Great Yeldon. Great Yeldon. So, starving, let's go. Right, I just wanted to show you the finished cross stitch for Donna and Paul's wedding. Um, and this is it. So these wet patches are because I had to sponge where I got some makeup on there, I think, or where the, the circle thing left a mark. I've just ironed the other side of it with um, one of Mark's hankies over it, just so that it's nice and flat now. And then I can measure it and get a frame for it. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think she's going to love it. I hope so. Happy Sunday fun day. I've just filmed with Mark the interview. I don't know what I'm going to call that. You'll, you'll find out. But it won't be called interview with Mark. It'll be called something. Um, but yeah. Oh turning my washing machine off and it's coming back on again a bit weird right <coughs> today me and mark are going or i should say mark and i are going for a meal with my dad and stepmom we're going to a pub called the swan um for some dinner but i won't be filming that i've just seen a bit of hair that i haven't curled there somewhere um, I won't be filming that because my dad doesn't want to be on camera, so that's fine. Um, don't know what else. I'll, oh, I've got to edit the Poundland Shop With Me video today as well. Um, right, let's get Mark something out to wear. I've got this, the cardigan on that, that um, I bought to go with this top. What do you think? Do you think it looks nice? I'm quite happy with it. I like the colour. I like a bit of colour. <laughs> Right, what shall we get him to wear? I thought one of his thin jumpers. Um, what about the blue one with this underneath? Look, there we go. That underneath the blue jumper, that'll look nice. Um, and that's about it for today, really. Mark's going to do some hoovering for me later. And I think he's going to take Poppy out for a, a coffee. I'm just going to chill out. I I did a bit too much yesterday. That bit of hair is really annoying me now. Um, at Hesingham Castle I did too much. So my left ankle and foot is bad um, today. Don't ever think I don't suffer for what I do because I do. But I'm still living my life. I'm not going to let it stop me. Um, so yeah. I'm just being kind to myself. I've got my my um, foot support on today. I had to get Mark to put that on for me this morning. And it does help. It does help. It helps you to be able to walk about. But anyway, I'm going to go and get on with some editing. Um, and then go out for dinner. It's just another manic Monday. Right, I'm just <sighs> eating my hair because the fan's on. Hyperhidrosis perimenopause and also muggle sick I'll talk to you about that in a minute but um, my hair is soaking wet because I've just had a shower and <clears throat> will you stop blowing my hair in my face talking to a fan now my eternity ring is thus and I have one side <laughs> this is such a fibro thing right I have one side that is raised on let me show you this part here and I have to every morning feel 
which one is the slightly more raised that one and have that facing this finger and not that finger because I don't like the feeling of it on my other finger now tell me if that's the most vibrant thing you've ever heard <laughs> it's just one of those things anyway I'll have to take you through all my rings won't I I have quite a few rings now but that'll be for another day but you can't wait so yeah I'm a bit muggle sick today look at my eyes I haven't got my makeup on yet as you can tell I am fighting off the cold thing <laughs> that the girls have both had um, and yeah my body's not doing great with it so I take a first defense spray at the sign of any cold because as we know being fi having fibromyalgia and ME is enough we don't want to be muggle sick as well because it just completely floors you so I have first, def first defense spray which is really good at stopping a cold in its tracks like the first sign so the last two nights I've had a sore throat and I'm like right and um, today I just feel rough so I've used the first defense spray twice I'm going to use it again today but it gives me the worst sinus pain like all up here in my cavities because it's obviously fighting whatever <laughs> bug is up there the cold bug but it, it's like they're having a full-blown Lord of the Rings battle in my sinuses <laughs> that's how it feels but it does stop it from getting bad you know so if you haven't tried a first defense spray try one if you fancy sinus spray sinus spray sinus pain <laughs> only only should last for a little while last night it lasted quite a while in this side but each to their own mark didn't get sinus pain when he used it so <laughs> it might just be me probably anyway so I wasn't I, I would have liked a whole day in bed actually because I just feel so rubbish but I've got up got showered feeling better in my mental state and I'm going to pick my mum up because my dad's got to take someone for a hospital appointment so she's on her own today so I'm gonna go mum sitting <laughs> no I'm not gonna go mum sitting we're gonna to go to a place called Molden we have been there before we like the charity shops and we're going to go and have some lunch obviously um and part of me is like oh, i just i just want to take bed but then the other part of me is like no nick that's a waste that's a waste of a day where you could spend with your mum you know make the most of it every day's best as the lodge do lodged i can't speak as the lodge guys say on youtube every day is best so get going so I need to take my paracetamol that's the first thing I've got to do got my rings on now I've got to feed the animals there's always things going on Poppy's gone out she's got a day off today she's gone out to meet a friend who's down from uni did you see that the light was just flashed hello are you there <laughs> um, it's, that's quite apt actually because I've been watching um, Oh, what is it called seat seatbelt psychic on tiktok if you haven't checked him out go and have a right now i'm getting freaked out are we gonna have a power cut anyway go and check him out he's really really good he talks like to the dead and he picks things out of these strangers that no one could know so yeah it's very very good anyway yeah that's why I said that because the lights were going and the fan was going but I think it's the power rather than a presence in my room <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go and feed the animals continue getting ready and then we'll go and meet mum at Molden oh nearly dropped you <laughs> again I can't see a thing with these things on <laughs> They're not the good sunglasses to be vlogging with. Right, we're um, in Molden. We've done QD. I've got a 
candle that I've had to put in my bag because the wind's so strong it's smashing all the bag up against everything. But we're just going to head into some charity shops and then go and get lunch. Look at that little outfit. Put anything in the brittle brack? Mm, oh, look at that teapot. Oh, champagne yeah, one. Yeah. I've just had to literally brush my hair and the knots in it because of how windy it is outside. Oh my goodness. We were blown around Molden, anyway. And then I came in, well I rushed home because Holly said, she messaged me and said, I've popped home for a few bits, um, how long are you gonna be? So I said, probably about another hour. So I rushed back thinking that she wanted to see me and she's gone. <laughs> she's already gone. And the bungalow stinks of fish, so obviously she's had fish for lunch. Oh my goodness. Out comes the Febreze, you know what I'm like with cooking smells, no, don't do them, don't do cooking smells. Right, I thought I'd show you what I bought, um, oh my mum gave me these that she'd bought, I think, I don't know where she got them from actually, we probably Asda or Tesco's, for the girls Easter egg hunt that we'll be doing for Easter. So I said Holly won't like the frog ones, <laughs> Holly hates frogs, so does Poppy actually. And then I got some coloured paper in the charity shop. 50 sheets for £1.99. Um, I got really exciting, some tissues, which I need to put one pack of in the car. I like to have some tissues in the car door just in case I need them. Because when you've got rhinitis, like I have, you have to have tissues everywhere you go. I can't open them. I'll open them later. But anyway, it was how many? 10, 10 packs for £1.50. And then, all my receipts. I bought a candle for our bedroom for the cooking smells. I might have to light in a minute. This one is fresh linen and it's Lumina make. Um, oh, can you hear that? A bit loose. But it, it just smells gorgeous. So, gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So that will go in the bedroom. Um, and then I FaceTimed Holly because she wanted some more Epsom salts for her bath. But she couldn't hear me and oh, I don't know. So I just got these, which is Recharge Therapy Epsom Bath Salts with Pink Grapefruit Extract. And these were £2.50. Flipping heavy. My bag was too heavy. And I did actually treat myself to an Aero Darkened Milk for a pound. I'm obsessed with chocolate at the moment i don't know why i've always loved chocolate always but at the moment i'm having to have chocolate in the afternoon with a cup of tea i don't know why because that hasn't happened for a long time i used to do that when i was younger <laughs> and then i got oh yeah we got free hand gel free hand gel so that's always handy to put in your bag handy <laughs> and then the other thing from the charity shop i got was this big wooden frame it's a beautiful frame actually really lovely hang on plum plum on bbc one mm. is the commonwealth and kate and william have just arrived all, all the royals are going to be in there oh right okay i'll put it on watch it's on bbc one all right i'll put that okay, on in a minute I'll... thank you okay bye, bye. 
Oh, that sounds good. I'll put that on. Me and Mum are royalists. We love the royal family. Let me know in the comments below if you love the royal family like we do. I said it's a dying breed because the girls can't stand the royal family. And I think that generation is just sad. But, you know. Anyway, so this frame is for Donna's, um, Donna and Paul's cross stitch that I did. But I need to look up how to frame a cross stitch. Whether you have to stretch some of it round the back or whether you have to cut it to the right thing so I need to look that up before I do anything um, because obviously it took a long time I don't want to mess it up <laughs> but yeah that's that's all I got there's a stray pea from Holly's lunch put that in the sink but we had a nice time um, I'm not feeling too bad actually used my spray nasal first defense spray before I went out had a sinus back all in my head and it wasn't too bad it wasn't as bad as last night and I've got all my receipts here you get receipts in charity shops now but what me and mum were saying was we found the charity shop stuff so expensive there were things in there um, that I liked for the fairy garden like there were these really funny ducks but they'd got them down for like four pounds each and I think it's a charity shop. If it was two pounds, I'd have had it. But I'm not paying four pounds for something that's second hand, you know? It's like, come on, charity shops. You need to start selling your stuff. So price it reasonably. <laughs> I know inflation and all that, but that shouldn't apply to charity shops. But anyway, moan over. I <laughs> am going to go and put the telly on now. As mum's told me, the royal family are on there. And um, have a rest. Have a rest. I have some chocolate. <laughs> oh, I couldn't film our lunch. We went to lunch in a tea room called Mrs. Salisbury's, which was lovely. But you know one of them tea rooms that's really small and you're all sitting close together? And I thought, I can't whack the camera out because people are going to be like, what's she doing filming? So we had lunch. I had a camembert and red onion omelette, caramelised onion omelette. Um, and mum had a jacket potato with some sort of mango chicken on. Very nice. Bit too much for me. <laughs> Should have just stuck with the tea cake. And now I'm going to go and chill out. Right, I've just looked up how to sort the cross stitch out for framing it. And it says, so underneath here, I've cut it to, you know, the right size. And then you stitch backwards and forwards over some cardboard. Um, so obviously you've got to cut the cardboard size and then over that you put tape to secure it down to make it tight and then you do the same for the other side and then it's all ready to be framed so I just thought I'd let you know in case any of you were interested right there we go all framed I had to cut some bits off because it wouldn't fit with the the amount of fabric that was in there but I think that's okay oh happy Tuesday Tuesday in it um I don't know where these weeks are going I'm feeling a bit weird at the moment I feel like one they're going quickly and two they're going slowly that makes no sense at all but <laughs> I just feel a bit combobulated is that a word I think it is that's what I feel at the moment anyway miserable day absolutely pouring with rain out there I am going painting with my friend Sarah later. We're going to a new painting place, so not the Blue Owl that we usually go to, we're going to somewhere else. Um, but meanwhile, I want to paint some pebbles because I want to do some Mother's Day pebbles um, and also hide some around for the kids to find as well. So I'm just going to paint a load of pebbles and then let them dry and then draw designs on them. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. You hold my hand, look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be 
I'm just off to get my friend Sarah. I can't film Sarah because she's a teacher and she doesn't like want to be filmed, which is fair enough. Um, but I will let you see what I'm painting when I've decided what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I was just going to show you this coat that I've got. I'm not sure if I've shown you this before, um, but this is from Vinted. And it does do up all the way down, but I'm just doing them up because I'm going to be sitting down driving. Um, but I do love it. It's like a, a bit of a raincoaty material, you know. Um, but I just thought it looked a bit nicer than my green one. I really need a new green coat, like winter coat, because this one's had it, really. Um, but yeah, let's just pop this one on. Right, let's go and get Sarah. Oh, it's not focusing on you. <laughs> there we go. I've gone for a little chick in an egg. I don't think it's going to take me very long, so I might be able to paint something else as well. Yeah, you might have to do too. Yeah, shame. <laughs> My bee's upside down. <laughs> it's going to be a glittery bit. I see it looks like it's got a Winnie the Pooh face. But I think it's a very cute bee. I had time because I won't show you, but Sarah's <laughs> painting this. Which is just taking forever. And it's, it's quite big. <laughs> so I did a bee as well, so I've got my, my angry chick. <laughs> Angry is cunning. <laughs> cunning plan. plan. Have a cunning plan. plan. Does have a cunning plan. I'm a little bee, but I'm going to get in spray, spray, glitter spray. Because I, I wanted to do something with his wings, but I'm not. I haven't got a steady enough hand for that. So, but yeah, they will go on the shelf for dreams. Right. So this afternoon, I have since I've been home, done some of these pebbles that I painted earlier on. Um, so some I've written some quotes on that I've found on Pinterest replace why is this happening to me with what is this trying to teach me everything shifts you can and then I've done some for the mums and Lisa and then I've got this one look <laughs> be happy I've got this so these these ones are definitely for the children to find on the estate um, and then the rest I think are going to go in the garden and I just write the date on them as well like well, the year prove them wrong good vibes only life is what you make it so I will spray all these tomorrow with finishing spray just so that they're outdoor proof and uh, yeah I think they're quite pretty and if you're one of the ones that have been asking me where do I get my pebbles from um, it's Holland on Sea Beach they are the best beach for pebbles that's around us so that's a brilliant beach for pebbles if you live nearby if not you've got to find somewhere where you can collect pebbles from you can buy pebbles off of Amazon but they're very expensive so I'd much rather go to the beach and collect some for free because there's millions there <laughs> Good morning. Well, I don't know even if it is, to be honest. What is it? No, quarter past twelve. Good afternoon. Um, I am off to the zoo. I've had a horrendous morning, fed up, but I'm finally getting off to the zoo to see my chimps. Got me lunch in my bag. Let's go. It's rammed. Apparently, teacher strike day. So I've just got a cup of tea. Having lunch for one and getting really weird looks from parents, thinking why is this woman on her own and not got children? <laughs> I've got children that grown up. Oh well, lunch for one anyone?
get to see um, baby rhino Dara that King Charles named her. I don't know where she was but I'm shattered. Great, break the camera again. Oh, well, hope you liked that little look around the zoo with me, even though it was rammed. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> if you wonder how I do the zoo, like I only go for short times, as you know. But because I've got the gold card, I don't have to spend a whole day there. So I tend to just do a few animals of what I want to see. Sometimes I only just see the chimps. And lots of benches. There's so many benches to sit down. So I have sit, seat, seat downs. I have a sit down on a seat and watch some animals for a while and do it like that. But it does scare me, don't get me wrong. I'm like going around there thinking, what if my foot goes and I'm stuck? What if this happens and I'm stuck? But if we never did anything, if we always acted on that fear, I'd never go anywhere. <laughs> so it's a case of biting the bullet and doing it. Bite the bullet and do it. There you go. Nicola's phrase. Right, home. <laughs> I've got a spray my pebbles that I did yesterday. And then probably just have a chill out with a cup of tea and watch some YouTube. Um, probably put all the towels away, towel washing Wednesday. All the usual garb, but yes. That was a nice little look around the zoo, albeit full of people, which I don't like. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Weird Thursday. I was just checking the clock and it's just gone half past nine. We've got a man here at the moment, a man, um, looking at our garage roof because it's leaking and we have the paperwork from the lady that lived here before and the roof is under warranty from when she's had it done. So he's just up there now looking at that and trying to fix it because it's making all the end of the garage wet. So he's doing that currently. Um, I've just got a day at home today which I'm quite pleased about. I'm going to do some, um, what is it called? Paint by numbers. I'm going to try and finish that today. Let me show you what I've done so far. So this is as far as I've got. So I've only got a few little numbers left to, to paint in. And then that's finished. So 
so it's not looking too bad is it it's looking quite good and I sprayed all my stones yesterday so they are ready to either go in the garden or go on a hide it for the kids walk <laughs> um, at some point I might not do that today though it's look at, weather's looking a bit naff today I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon Holly's um, coming back from uni earlier today. She usually works at uni till six on a Thursday, but she finishes early today, so we might watch some more of our programme. And then I've obviously got to do editing for the weekly, and I've got the shopping coming. So all go, but all at home. So that's nice. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday. I'm out of breath just been into Tesco's. I'm waiting for a call from my doctor to ask her to have a blood test for the menopause and also just to check my blood because she usually do, did that once a year and she hasn't done it for quite a while. Like for things like thyroids, liver function, everything, you know, like a whole body checkup. So I'm waiting for a phone call for, for that and I thought, can you imagine it if my phone goes off and I'm in Tesco's and I'm like standing there going, yeah, can I have a test for the menopause? <laughs> also, while I was in Tesco's, because I get so anxious going out on my own, you wouldn't believe it, but I do. <laughs> I realised I was holding my breath. I was holding onto the trolley and I was holding my breath and I'm like, what are you doing? Breathe! <laughs> and that's obviously how... I was just so anxious that I was holding my breath. But anyway, there's some lovely um, coats in the sale in Tesco's because I really need to replace my long green one. Um, but yeah, the one that I really liked was quite thin, so I don't know if it do for this time of year because it's still chilly, so I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I really need a proper winter coat for next year, so I'll keep looking. But yeah, I'm just... Um, heading home and oh I'm popping to the range because I need a couple of things in there and then I'm gonna collapse <laughs> for the afternoon it's terrible weather today it's raining wet raining wet okay I'm home I'm home I've just spoken to my doctor and she is going to do or well, shit not her but the nurse one of the nurses will do a full blood count um so on check my thyroid vitamin levels and menopause hormones all that sort of thing um so she said it's worth checking it all because we haven't done it since before the pandemic like i said so i've got to book a blood test in probably for next week so you can come with me to that <laughs> no i won't show you <laughs> my blood being taken um i'll just go through a few bits that i got while i was out um i've got these really nice rolls we've got caesar salad tonight so I got these really nice seeded baguettes and I thought we could have half of one of them each with some butter on on the side of our Caesar salad. And this is the chicken that I got for our Caesar salad. I thought that looked really nice. Um, I bought Mark some biscuits, all butter, chocolate chip shortbread, like a biscuit in the evening with a cup of tea. And then at the range, I had to get a new bathroom bin for the ensuite because it's gone all... Um, what do you call it? Rusty. Already. It's been, has it been a couple of years we've had the ensuite? But yeah, they don't last long, the bins in there, because they're metal. Um, they just tend to rust up with the moisture in the air. So that was six ninety nine. And then I also had to get a new hand soap pump, because our one, all the blacks come off of here... And I really wanted another black top, but I couldn't find one, so I had to go with the chrome. But I really liked the this effect, the stone effect on the bottom and the fact that it was a little squashy one. I thought that was really nice, and that was $5.99. And then I found some candles that are like Yankee Candle dupes. And this was True Aroma Jasmine Bloom. And also, it's grey to go with the lounge. I know, I am that extra person. That's that's really nice. Really, I can't wait to burn that. 
um, and that was three ninety nine. So good price there because I still can't make my candles yet. I will do. I will do. Um, two pound fifty. I got some bunting ready for the king's coronation. Talking of the king's coronation, what we're doing for that is we're having the family over. And we're all contributing and doing an afternoon tea here. Like, a bit like when we did it for Holly's 21st, you know, do all the, the cake stands that have sandwiches and cakes and some crisps and Prosecco and tea and coffee and that sort of thing. So we're doing that here. Um, so I think I've got some bunting, but I wanted to get some more just to make sure I can put some outside and inside. Um... Oh, and the other thing I got for the afternoon tea were these Union Jet plates. I think they were one ninety nine for eight. There is eight of us, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight because the girls be doing something else probably. Um, I got a wedding card for my friend Donna who's getting married, and then the last thing I got was another hand towel that was three ninety nine in grey because. Um, I've got, when all three of ladies of us are at home, we all need a hand towel to wash our hair. And although we've got one, we've, I've got three enough for us. When they're in the wash, I haven't got enough to replenish them. So I got another one of those. That was it. That's all I got. So now I've got to ring up and book my blood test. I just entered the heart competition because today you can win £10,000 and Mark is desperate for a van. If you know anyone that wants to give Mark a van, then let me know in the comments below. But yes, he, bless him, his van is just on its last legs and he really needs a new one. But when we looked at prices of them honestly you can't get a decent one for under six thousand so yeah i'll try to enter that competition to win him some money for a van bless him but no phone call so poo boo that's what i say boo <laughs> anyway i'm gonna leave the vlog here because i need to edit this to get it up for you for tomorrow i hope you all have a lovely weekend whatever you decide to do I hope you all have a lovely Mother's Day and also thinking of the people that long to be mums, um, would be mums, have been mums or have got mums in heaven. I'm thinking of all of you on that day too. And I will see you all next week on Wednesday. Let me have a look. What is it? 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 Oh, it's the interview with Mark. It's the interview with Mark next Wednesday, so definitely stay tuned for that one. I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, that's just my sister. <laughs> Take care. See you all then. Bye.